Hello, in this short lecture, I want to show you how to read the intercept and the slope from a simple regression. A simple regression is a regression with just two variables, an independent variable that does the explaining and a dependent variable that is being explained. I took real data, but a slightly silly example. The example here is, does higher tax revenue create opportunities for increased levels of corruption? I did this because data was easily available. So we have annual data for one particular year, 2000, where we have measures of tax revenue and corruption. And the argument is that higher tax revenue might lead to lower levels of corruption. So we can plot this data first using a scatter plot. The scatter plot is a typical plot to use for two continuous variables, as we have here. Here you see the scatter plot. On the x-axis, we have tax revenue. On the y-axis, the level of corruption in government. So we always do this, the independent variable on the x-axis, the dependent variable on the y-axis. This is convention, so this is how people will read your plot. It also helps um, for regression analysis, where it makes a difference, what is on the x-axis and what is on the y-axis. And so each of those points, they represent individual countries. Here I just outline a few, just so you can see what it represents. So each of point is a country in a particular year, in 2000, and the further to the right, the higher the tax revenue, and the further to the top, the higher the level of corruption in this country. So now that we have this data, the, the challenge is to estimate a line that summarizes this pattern. So we want a line that shows what the pattern is in, the, in this data, what the relation is between tax revenue and level of corruption. In other words, this line. Maybe visually you would have expected a slightly steeper line, but you get this line because a regression analysis tries to minimize the vertical distances between the point and the line, not the perpendicular line the distance. Your eyes are more inclined to minimize the perpendicular distances. Okay, so how do we get this line? I have an example here from how we calculate this in R, um, and then we will discuss the output. So here is the command in R. You see we use the LM command for a linear regression, a linear model. We have the dependent variable corruption, the independent variable tax revenue, and the data set is a replication data from an author called Ross, and so that's how I got the data. And you get all these numbers output, and most of these numbers we will discuss in later iterations. Right now, I'm just interested in estimating the line itself. And for that, we have two numbers. The first number is what we call the intercept, or the constant. So the intercept here is the first estimate, the number on the top left there, 5.63984, right? The second number that we use is the slope coefficient. The slope is the next number below that, and it's minus 0.06860. So this tells us that when x is 0, the level of corruption is estimated at 5.6, and for every increase in uh, tax revenue by 1, corruption goes down by 0.069. So we get an equation like this. Corruption is equal to 5.64 minus 0 0.69 times rev tax revenue. And that then summarizes this plot. So we can see the intercept at the point in the graph where x is 0. In other words, here. When x is 0, the intercept is the value of y. So indeed, we see that it is roughly somewhere halfway between 5 and 6, slightly closer to 6, so we get it at 5.6. Beware that this is not necessarily where the y-axis is located. You might very well have a plot where the y-axis is not drawn at the point of x is 0. The intercept is not about the y-axis, the intercept is about the value of the line when x is 0, x being in this case tax revenue. The slope tells you how steep the line is. We get a negative number, minus 0 0.069, which suggests that it's a downward slope, and which is indeed what we see with the blue line. 
how big this number is. So this is the amount of uh, uh, the amount corruption goes down and tax revenue increases by one. Since tax revenue is here on a scale from about zero to about 50, that is hard to read. But if you would multiply it by 10, we get minus 0.69. So that would suge suggest that if tax revenue goes up by 10%, from 0% to 10, for example, then the level of corruption goes down by about 0.7. And that's about right. We go from approximately 5.64 down to 4.98 or something. So higher levels of tax revenue leads to lower levels of corruption in this data. So perhaps the inclination would be to say that higher tax revenue indeed reduces level of corruption. There's one problem though. Regression does not tell you anything about causal direction. Regression tells you something about uh, correlation. So it could easily be the other way around and corruption leading to less tax, tax revenue. Regression analysis won't tell you which one of the two is true. For that, you need further you need a causal argument, a theoretical argument, and perhaps you could look at changes in time. If corruption changes before tax revenue changes, that suggests that corruption is the cause and the other way around. But that is a much more advanced regression model. Thank you.